Okay, here's another tutorial on how to convert any valves into a parametric family. So this one, if we select this one, create similar, and then place into the pipes, it will not resize this one. Okay, we undo this one. So all these uh, families here is already converted into a parametric uh, families that that will resize when you select and create them. For example, this one, create this one. So sixty five more here. That one. Ah, sorry, that one I cannot because this one is fifty. The size is fifty. So the parameter is specific. We created from sixty five sizing. Then we can place this gate valve, this type of gate valve. So select this one. So it will resize accordingly. Okay. Okay. So I think we will undo this one. Okay. So all these families came per, from a PUB beam checker. So if you open the template from a PUB Singapore. This one. So all these valves is not yet. Uh, uh, this one actually a parametric, but not uh, parametric in a way that when you click to the pipe, it will automatically resize. Okay. So this is just some uh, basic and default sizing. I mean def default families. Okay. So for example, this one we convert this one uh, drain out test cup. Okay, so go, go back here. Sorry, this one. So we will now customize this one, edit the parameters so that it will resize according to the size of these pipes. So again, for the example, uh, this one is a gate valve. So the sizing will, uh, this type of gate valve is from 15 to 50, 50 only so it's useful for uh, for like toilets small toilets okay so let's try again this one so this one select click 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 so it will resize again Also, the symbol to this one, all the symbols in this uh, gate valve, you can control up to here. So let's say in 3D, you want to show the to the symbol and then click that one. It will be shown here. So you can customize also this one, the spacing and this line here, a little line, so that it will not be a little uh, off in the presentation. So. We open the plan view here, construction. Uh, where is it? Okay, here, this one. See, it will resize accordingly. Uh, create similar. Okay, so this one is created a warning because it's more than uh, 50 millimeter already. So we set the sizing to, uh, for this uh, check valve to up to uh, 50 only so this one is 65 already ah sorry 90 or 90 now so actually we should just use this gate valve up to here okay so when when the pipe size is 65 then you, you use the other gate valve for that one this one 65 to 250 or 300 create similar then you go back here. So what's up? Okay. So this one was the size for this one it is sixty-five. Okay. So this one no need to this one. Okay. So now how how can we customize this uh, valve to be able to resize according to the size of the pipes? Okay. 
So how can we customize any family to resize according to the size of the pipes? So this is the process. So you select this one, family, edit the family, okay? You check first the paramet parameters, okay, in here. So what you need to do is you just check first the uh, parameter uh, sizing. So let's say um, 25, apply. So meaning it's working and there's no, it's all the dimension and parameters linked together. So 32, and, uh, sorry, okay, 32, 65, okay, 100. So now we're ready to create the lockup tables, this one. So we don't have yet um, imported lockup table. So, okay, before we go there, we should uh, convert all the parameter, dimensions parameter into a instance parameter. So currently we are using the type parameter, this one. So you can do here one by one, edit, and then place here instance. And then like that, or you can use also the the D roots applications. So come here, D roots, and then Para man Manager. This one. So you can batch um, convert the type families into instance parameter. So go here. Uh, where is it? type of parameter group, this one. So we go into dimensions, this one, convert to instance, instance, IFC also, we go here, all this, all the values here, let's check the value. So length, this one. So you can also multiples, select the uh, information here. So up to here, this three, and then select instance then apply. Okay, connection size, okay, close this one. And then to go here, create. So it's your, some of the families is ready. I mean, the parameter is converted, but this uh, connection size is not yet converted. So, okay, the faulty parts so can convert this one instance okay so all the families now is converted into instance now we're ready to create the excel look lookup tables okay so we go here at the templates so in here i have this uh, where the, this one So this is the file. So this is just the basic sizing. So you place here DN, then the length. I mean, sorry, the sizing. So 10, 15, the size of the pipes. Then this parameter will be, depends on the how many parameter, uh, parameter length that you're going to use in the families. So, okay, let's try to Create now the families. Okay. So I'll open this one template. Desktop. So I'm going to So this one, I will just make a copy here. So maybe around here. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is um, use create, add a new parameter, table name, so table name. 
this is a text. Where's that image? This one. Okay, I'll just play this in. Table name, and then what else? Then we add parameter, shared parameter. Uh, this one is D, the DN is instance. Select here this one. It, the DN is a length. Okay. See this one? It's a length dimension. Press OK. So you have a DN hot now here. So what we're going to do here, DN. Okay. So for the nominal size here, this one will be, um, wait a Okay, this one. So we're going to, okay. I think we're ready now to import the lookup table so import uh, template is in out the scrap okay so after that uh, open again you copy this uh, sheet name rename copy the table name you, you paste it here and if you want to lock it you copy paste again and then put uh, this col colon, 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 col whatever. Then apply. Okay, so after that, then the connection size will be, you type here. Diameter will be this one. So type this one size Zero, then DN. Or check again. I'm going to check. So look at table, DN, and DN. Okay. Ah, this one. Put that. Okay, apply. So what happened now is one. Ah, okay. We can cancel this one first and then place here 25. Okay, that's all. So it's now uh, working. Our size lookup table is now working. So we minimize this one. So we change this DN here. Uh, let's see. 50 and resize now 100 to so resize so so i think we're ready now so this one you set also the so you set across these tippings so you can either switch to pipe accessories or pipe tippings okay so the advantage of using uh, Pipe fittings that when you select the pipes and the valves, it will resize when you select the uh, any sizing. But in the pipe accessories, you cannot resize the uh, the valve by selecting together with the pipes. So okay, I show you the difference. This one, so pipe fittings. We let's use this one. Then after that, you select also this one. This parameter, of this. Uh, pipe connector 
it will be um, fittings here and then the diameter sizing will be dn okay so we save this one save custom families save and then we load down to the project okay all right okay so when I click this one, create similar, and then place to the pipe, it will now resize. So when I select this one, rotate. See, this is the test cut. Okay. So it will now resize according to the pipe sizing. Okay, so let's say you want to resize the pipes. So that's one advantage of using the pipe fittings is that it will resize here. So let's say 200, it will resize accordingly. But if we select this one and then change the uh, family category to pipe accessories and then valve here, um, what's this? you load it to the project all right so when you select this one you cannot select now the sizing so that's the uh, disadvantage or advantage of selecting a pipe fittings and pipe accessories so we can just undo this one so this one when you select again to let's say 350 ah i think there's no 350 size it's over already so just put uh, 300 okay or 100 it will change okay so that's how you can uh, master your families and customize any families the from the authority so yeah so it's easy now to customize all these family, families if you have those uh, lookup tables and uh, the parameters that i just shared to you okay so i think uh let me show more here what else what families i have here so it can be applied to butterfly valve and gate valve check valve so any valves or pipe accessory so including also this one and the symbol also you can customize the symbol okay so yeah that's it